This is a simple demo using Record My Desktop on 13th of November 2011 by Aaron Sloman, School of Computer Science, University of Birmingham, UK. It's a demonstration of some features of Linux and also some features of an AI language. In particular, I shall show how the Linux utility eSpeak can generate speech from text. Then I'll show how POP11, the AI language, can invoke Linux commands from inside its editor VED. In particular, particular, I shall show how to make it generate a variety of different utterances by using a repeat loop with commands that do something different each time around the loop to make eSpeak say something different. First, let me just show you what giving a command to Linux looks like. So I'm going to exit the editor, the POP11 editor that I was in, called VED. Now, so if I talk direct to Linux, I get a Linux prompt and I can give a command like df uh, minus h to find out what the file partitions are in my system. And it shows me quite a lot of stuff about the file systems that I've got on this machine. But that's not really relevant to this um, uh, uh, talk. eSpeak can be also invoked directly from the command line. If I type eSpeak, hello everybody then when I press the return key just to the right of the keyboard that command gets sent to Linux and um, the eSpeak program will say something now hello everybody okay that's not terribly exciting but it's the basis of what I want to demonstrate next now I can go back into the poplog editor, the pop11 editor. Poplog is the system containing pop11. And um, show you how I can use the editor, which I'm now in. And you can see I can move the editor cursor up and down. And I can put it on a command. Hello, are you there? And I can ask the editor to hand that command to Unix by pressing the enter key which takes my text cursor to the top there and then I can type do Unix and press the return key Hello, you so that sent that command to Linux and it did as before now I can ask it to do it with a different speed the, there's a default speed which is quite fast minus s100 will be a slower speed I'll do that now by repeating the do unix command and for that all I have to do is type escape return Hello, are you there? that's slower um, I can go down to an even slower speed it's getting boring I suppose eSpeak minus S50 Hello, are you there? slightly slower I can also change the pitch to a lower pitch. Minus P25 is a lower pitch than we had before. Hello, are you there? That was a lower pitch. I can change it to use a different wording um, with uh, the word John in there for a reason that will become clear. Hello, is John there? I can now tell eSpeak with this flag, minus K40, to f give extra emphasis to words that start with capital letters. And the K40 specifies the amount of emphasis, never mind what the parameters are exactly. So if I now do that, you'll hear the word John is pronounced differently. Hello, is John there? Is John there, it says. There are other things we can make. Um, uh, pop 11 do um, and basically they make use of a command in the pop 11 system called sysobey and sysobey can take a string like the date string which is a command I give in Unix and if I give pop 11 that command sysobey date then it hands the date program to Linux, uh, the date command to Linux and Linux will do something Likewise, I can give to sysobey a command using eSpeak. So I can now tell POP11 to obey this line where the text cursor is, this line here, 
and it's no longer to be obeyed as a Unix line so I'll ignore that do Unix command at the top there and instead I'll type escape D which says to pop 11 do this line so it should do that just a sysobey line Hello is John there. which is similar to the last command except that now John is in lowercase so there wasn't that em emphasis although the K was there to produce the emphasis if necessary and we can make it repeat something three times uh, namely uh, repeat three times in pop 11 has some extra stuff in between then end repeat and the stuff in between is here sysobey e speak minus s80 and so on which will just get it to say hello is Mary there three times um, to avoid boredom let's speed it up a bit to 150 okay so to obey three lines which have been marked as I've done there using function keys I can now type control D instead of escape D escape D obeys one line control D obeys a marked collection of lines hello is Mary there I think that something went wrong which made it after the first one produce whistles that's probably something to do with my audio setting and um, I'm not going to bother to repeat that and just hope the other commands work better so I now want to do something more interesting and more complicated I want to give pop11 an instruction to say five things and as before for each time it says something I'm going to specify the utterance to be produced that will be a string held in a variable in pop11 called utterance and that will be given to sysobey sysobey will get the string utterance and inside that string we will have the command for esp we'll also have a pitch which starts off at 25 and a speed which starts off at 40 and um, in this case if I compile the, those three lines four lines I can check that I've got the pitch and the speed specified. Let me just make sure that the pop11 output window is clear of junk. Right, there isn't one. So if I type escape D on that line with pitch and speed, it prints out the values. I can do it again, and you can see it's printed out the values as 25 and 40, corresponding to the assignments there. Uh, we'll see later that in pop11 some assignments go right to left and some from left to right. So now I'm going to start this repeat instruction. eSpeak will be the first item in the string that's going to be the utterance that's given to sysobey. The string will start with minus k40. I'm putting it at the beginning because that bit won't change. So I want everything with capitals to be emphasized. And then I'm going to have minus p for the pitch, but the pitch will change. So instead of including the pitch in the string, I say pitch will be a number that comes from outside the string and then that number will be joined to the string that's what this little symbol here means it's greater than less than it's the string concatenator in pop11 and you can give it a string and a number and it'll produce a string containing that number and then we can give it uh, concatenate it with another string containing minus s and it'll produce a longer string and then we can give it another string containing the number for speed which starts with 40 as you can see up there and so it'll add that on the end with a string containing 40 and then th that will be the end of the parameters for eSpeak except for the string to be printed out so that will start after space which is why I have this string and then the double quote after space hello, hello everybody end of a sentence is and then we want to specify what's going to be referred to next and that will be chosen at random from this list of strings so here we have a string John, Mary, the owner, Mickey Mouse, the train and each of those strings is inside this pair of square brackets which means a list is made up containing those strings and that list is given to this pop11 procedure called one of which gets its inputs inside the, uh, the uh, round parentheses and um, one of then gets this list of things and it selects one at, at random never mind how it does that that's just a built-in pop11 procedure to select something from a list at random 
So having got that, it will then join it onto the string that's being built up. And then it'll join some more on by getting another phrase. So that's somebody referred to, and then there's something said about them. So it'll be one of there yet, ready to go, still asleep, or talking to Nemo. And we, as before, have a set of strings l inside this list that starts here and it ends off the screen, uh, which I can show you by moving the text cursor down to this line and then moving it right, and it'll jump any minute now. Right. So it's brought the end of the line into view. So that's where the list of strings ends, and then the command to says obey ends over there. So we can go back and look at that again. Sorry, that was at the end of the command uh, one of, my mistake. And then right at the end, we have to put the double quote, which is what the Unix eSpeak command requires, as it did in all the previous cases. Up there, you can see, hello, are you there, with double quotes at both ends. So w this is showing you how in Pop11 you can construct a string from fragments which are joined together by this operator. There are other ways of doing it, uh, some of which are more familiar to, way, uh, to the way a string is constructed in a language like C, but I'm not going to show that. So when it's constructed the string, it's going to print out the utterance, and then it'll call a pop 11 procedure called readline, which will pause until I just press the return key and that will make a list of input but that will be an empty input so we're not going to assign it to anything we'll just ignore it that's what assign to semicolon means and then it'll pause briefly and then the utterance will be spoken I think I'll add a little pause after that before it goes to the end so let's shorten this pause to one second and in that's going to be um, that's a hundredth of a second. Let's make it 10. And let's make it sleep a bit longer after it's printed it out, before, after it's said it, before it prints out the next one. So we can give it, say, um, uh, 50 hundredths of a second. And then the pitch gets increased. Pitch plus 10 is now assigned to pitch. The speed is increased. Speed plus 30 goes to speed. So it's going to get higher pitched and faster. You could say it's going to be more excited, but that's your interpretation, not mine. So I've now marked the whole lot by going up there and pressing the F1 key, going down to the bottom of the end where the end repeat is, and pressed, uh, pressed the F2 key, and that has marked that range. So now if I type Control D, it'll do all those commands. Uh, previously I used Escape D for a single pop command. Control D will do all the commands that have been marked. I'll do that now. Um, and uh, it's going to need an output window, so let me just do escape X, which makes it show me what was in previously in the output window, which I don't need. So I'll get rid of those. Come back here and do the escape D. So it says it's going to do E speak with these parameters, and hello everybody, is the train still asleep? And I'll press the return key, and it should say it. Hello, everybody. Is the train still asleep? So it was using a low pitch and a slow speed. So it's now going to use a slightly higher pitch and a faster speed, but it's got a different sentence to say, Hello, everybody. Is Mary still asleep? So I'll press the return key, and that read line command will say, OK, we can go now. Hello, everybody. Is Mary still asleep? Pause. Now we get another one. Hello, everybody. Is Mickey Mouse still asleep? Well, for some reason, the one-off thing is always choosing still asleep, but that's what random things do. They can sometimes repeat themselves. Hello, everybody. Is Mickey Mouse still asleep? And our fourth one is, hello, everybody. Is the train ready to go? Well, just by luck, it got the train, and then it got something appropriate for the train. It could have said, is the train still asleep? But it didn't. It said, is the train ready to go? But that was just luck. It wasn't intelligence in this case. Hello, everybody. Is the train ready to go? And um, 
the final one, uh, which is the fifth one, will be an even higher pitch and a faster speed. But for some reason, it's the same sentence as before. Hello, everybody. Is the train ready to go? Okay, it did all that. I can make it do it faster by um, removing the sleep commands and the read line commands. So I can comment them out. And um, comment out this. And restart the pitch and speed at a lower level. And uh, then I've marked that whole range from VARS through the repeat bit down to end repeat with some instructions left out. And it now should go through another five, which won't be the same because the components are picked at random. But they'll get faster and higher pitched. And uh, the, the sound in the video may not be totally synchronized, but you'll get the idea. Hello, everybody. Is Mickey Mouse talking to Nemo? Hello, everybody. Is the owner there yet? Hello, everybody. Is John talking to Nemo? Hello, everybody. Is the train still asleep? Hello, everybody. Is the train there yet? And that's a lot. And that's the end of this demo.